Salve, my fellow explorers, my name is Vice Versa, and I welcome you to this short tutorial on how to scientifically name your discoveries in No Man's Sky. I'm really looking forward to the game, especially the exploration excites me a lot. In our journey through the vastness of space, we will come across many creatures and we will get the chance to name each of them. Hundreds, maybe thousands of different creatures will cross our path during our way to the center of the galaxy. Now, these numbers, hundreds, thousands, don't even sound that great if you compare it to the amount of species we have discovered on our planet Earth. We have discovered over 8.7 million different species, but even after these 8.7 million, estimations say that 86% of land species and 91% of marine species remain undiscovered. Every single one of these 8.7 million known species has its own unique scientific name. One of these scientific names is for example Balsenoptera musculus, that in fact is just the blue whale. How do scientists or so-called zoologists name the creatures they discover? Which rules do they have to respect? Well, to be honest, it's a very very simple system. Species are considered scientifically named when they have been given a two-part Latin name. For example, Canis and the second word Rufus, which is the scientific name of the wolf. You may ask yourself now about how can I find suitable Latin words and what do they have to mean? Well, here comes the good part. It just can be anything. The words can be descriptive. A good example for this is Deodyptula minor, which means small penguin. So the scientific name just describes the penguin as small. Or it can be geographic, for example, Dicerorinus sumatrensis. Yes, you guessed it right, it's something from Sumatra, namely the Sumatran rhino. Or it can be nonsensical at all. A good example for this is Ayaya Ayaya. This doesn't mean anything, it's not even a Latin word. But it is, in fact, the official scientific name of this bird here, called the Spoonbill. As you can see, it's very simple and open to a lot of creativity. Now, can this be used during our No Man's Sky adventure? Sure, I mean, if after a while you run out of interesting, funny names, but you still want to name the animals you find, then this system might help you come up with an interesting name. I want to show you now, with two examples, how this system can be easily used on No Man's Sky creatures. In this trailer we are on this desert planet and we see an enormous creature slithering by. So let's say we discover this creature and want to name it scientifically. Let's go back to this scene and stop right here. In this case I would choose a descriptive Latin word because this thing is just a giant snake. So that's the name we are looking for. With the help of an online dictionary that I linked in the description, I found out that this translates to Serpens Magnus. Easy! On our beloved planet Balari 5, we see these big creatures and they really look odd. Look at his face, he looks like a T-Rex, but, but he has fins. He walks like a gorilla with his arms or I don't know, front legs. This creature is really interesting because it has so many different little features and it doesn't look similar to anything we have on Earth. Let's go back to this scene where we get a good angle and stop. In this case I would choose again a descriptive name and now it gets kinda tricky because there are a lot of things you can, you can describe since he's so special. So I just choose the two things that caught my attention first and this would be the fins. It doesn't make sense that he has fins since we don't see him live near water so what are their exact purpose? The other thing that I immediately saw was that his face or head looks like the one of a T-Rex. So I would decide to name this creature Finn's T-Rex, that with the help of a dictionary translates to Pinule Tyrannosaurus. Obviously these two creatures could have been named way differently by anyone else because there are no specific rules. 
the giant snake could have been named geographically with desert snake and the fins t-rex could have been named gorilla t-rex or anything else. The great thing about this system is that there is no right and wrong and the name doesn't even have to be grammatically correct so if you don't know Latin grammar you can still use this system because it can't really be wrong. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching and I see you in space.